Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another great episode of the Red X Podcast. I'm Robert Sullivan. I'll be your host today. Excited to have you here to join uh, with us and very excited to have our guest with us today, Stu Jacobson. Stu, hi to everybody joining in today. Hey, how is everything? <laughs> that, that's a, that is a great hey. We, we, we <laughs> I know you're super busy just coming out of the holidays and being sick, so we're glad you're alive. And uh, you. that you can join <laughs> us today. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so thanks for being on. Hey, everyone that's joining us right now, thank you for joining us. As you join, go ahead and hop in the comments. Tell us where you're from. Uh, say hi to Stu. And uh, and obviously, all throughout the show, this is a participatory event. So if you have a question, uh, go ahead and ask us in the comments. If we can get to it now, we'd love to answer it. If not, we continue that conversation on the Lead Gen Conversation, our Facebook page. We'd love to see you there. Also, if, to stay up to date on uh, what's going on here and what will be coming up next on the Red X podcast, you can subscribe at uh, the Red X dot, or redx.com slash podcast or uh, find us on YouTube and stay subscribed, know what's going on. But uh, today, uh, I'm excited to have Stu here, going to give him a chance to introduce himself, but he's talking to new agents. But really, it's January 5th today and we're all new agents. It's 2023. The market yeah. has shifted. And uh, we're, we're uh, you know, got new goals. And so I, even though it says new agents, this is for everybody today. I've talked to Stu quite a bit, love what he has to say. Uh, but hey, Stu, why don't you give us uh, just a quick intro so people that are joining yeah. that might not know you yet, even though you've trained like half the audience probably already. <laughs> but go ahead and, and let them know who you are. And uh, then let's talk new agents. And I see some people from the Stu crew. Yeah, I mean, here's what I'm going to say. <laughs> First and foremost, um, I love people coming in and showing the love because that's great. I love the energy. Uh, so about me, I've been a broker now. So it's 2023. I'm going to say this. I've been a broker for 20 years. The okay. 2023 marks my 20th year as a broker. Uh, I started my career just like a lot of agents do. I wanted to get out into the field. I wanted to sell. I wanted to really just get out there and help people buy and sell homes. That was it. I, I wanted to do that boots on the ground. And I did that successfully. But then, like so many, and it's not for everybody, I shifted into management, I shifted into training agents, and then it turned into prepping people for the exam and teaching them how to get their business started. So now, I really, I'm happy to say that I work with thousands of people, whether it be on YouTube, whether it be one-on-one, -on -one, whether it be in my classrooms, I work with thousands of agents across the country, helping them get past that pesky exam, and then getting the business started, you know? So that's really kind of where I specialize. But just as you said, you really hit on something that hit home for me. It's 2023. And something that someone told me the other day was, guess what? Do you know something about the 2023 market? No one has ever seen the 2023 that's market. Right. We don't know what it's going to bring us. So guess what? We're all sitting here trying to figure out what makes sense for us to go where and where we have to pivot and where we have to make adjustments, you know? So it's all new to everybody. That, that's right. And, and, I love this. That's something. So I met Stu just, uh, I don't know, it was only a couple months ago, right? Like, yeah. uh, I, I wish I would have met you sooner because you're fun to talk to. Uh, but but <laughs> like the thing that just blew me away is you have helped thousands of agents get their career started. And so this isn't, this is this is not your first rodeo 2023 to, to hop on the podcast and no. say, hey, here's how, here's how I think uh, a new agent should start the business right now in 2023. This is something you've done over and over and over again. Uh, so super valuable for everybody that that's listening right now, whether it's live or or on the recording right now. Um, you, you you've done this before, so just get us started. Uh, you know what? Let's just jump right in. What are the top things that you are helping agents out with as they're just getting going? Mindset, 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 and then when you're done with mindset, you want to focus on your mindset. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, and here's the thing: I, I heard this the other day. I can't even take credit for it, but I don't even know who I'm going to credit. But but I'm going to say it wasn't me. But this was a, I mean, absolutely blew my mind. They said, you know, how I present to my new agents, you know, how to get started is I say, okay, you're probably coming off of a W two job, right? So if I presented you as a new agent in real estate, a salary, like I said to you, I'm, you're going to make $80,000 a year. All you have to do is come and clock in from Monday through Friday, do these tasks and be successful at doing these tasks. I will give you $72,000 a year. Guess what? They will come in and they will do all those tasks, but then take away the W-2 
take away the safety net of a salary. And here's what happens. Now, they, they want to go in and say they're an independent contractor. Now, all of that stuff that they said that they were going to do, they don't, <laughs> it changes immediately. Right. So there is no difference. Because here's the thing, if I told you everything that you need to do to be successful and you show up, you'll make your money. You'll make what you want to make and then some. Because the beautiful thing is about having the right mindset now is that it only grows. Real estate is one of those businesses that you could grow exponentially because the work that you put in today, you're building a sphere and you're building a business for six months from now, a year from now, two years from now. So here's the thing, all the hard work, the blood, sweat, and tears that you do right now, the bottom line is you're not going to have to do this in five years. But people don't realize that, don't recognize that real estate isn't hard. It's not difficult, but it is work. It's work, yeah, yeah. It's work. So I think that, and that's why, again, you go to any coaching program. I don't care what it is. They're going to start page one, mindset, 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 mindset. And I, I just can't stress it enough. So, you know, we, we've got maybe two, I, I'm thinking of two different people right now that might be tuning in that, uh, that this is going to help out any, uh, either way. And that's the brand new agent that said, I, I want to jump in in 2023 and they haven't heard about uh, mindset and what you have to say about it. Or the agent that's been here for a couple years just and is just coming off of this crazy market that uh, you know you, you didn't even have time to get a for, a for sale sign in the yard before you got an offer, and uh, and and that's not the case anymore. We're back to uh, you know a, a, a pretty balanced market really, where buyers and sellers have uh, have some control, and and uh, and you've got to work with them differently. So what what would you tell somebody January fifth, twenty twenty three? Here's the mindset or, or, or where you're going to start to be in the right mindset? So I think that what happens is this mindset is something that is internal. You know, I think that's something that is such a you centric thing. You know, I can't tell someone to have the right mindset, <laughs> but I can tell you that if you don't have the right mindset, you're done. It's you can't get to that next point. And you bring up a good point because you know what? I do want to say this, and I want to recognize this because, you know, sometimes from coaches, from people online, you hear all the time that, you know, a real a lot of positivity, a lot of rah, 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 you know, drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> I want to say this for agents that have been in the business like that two to five year agent. Yeah, yeah, you had your you had your butt kicked because <laughs> you were primarily listen, those people are primarily working with buyers. And just as you pointed out. You know, the, the dirt was still fresh and you were fighting, you know, 20, 30, 40 offers. Your buyers are getting frustrated. It's getting emotionally heated. Yeah. So how do you pivot? How do you get into that right mindset? That's hard. You need to hit a reset button, though. You need to hit a reset button. So I recommend for the agent that has done that to do whatever you need to do to get in the right state of mind. I, I think that's, you know, whether that be maybe, hey, you take two to three days for yourself where you just kind of focus and you readjust yourself because what we are going into is we're going into a great market where it's going to be more normalized. It's going to be, you know, here's the thing. We used to be really pounding the pavement in those normal markets where you're doing, you're hitting your expires, you're hitting these things. And there's actually expires to call. Yeah, awesome. You know, I look, listen, I, I, I looked on January 1st. That's my favorite expired day. Um, you know, and basically that is, that is a realtor holiday. You yeah. work our butts off on January 1st. Um, so for those of you who are out there doing that, uh, you know, kudos to you, but I wanted to say this, you know, now there are expires. Now there are things that are coming up where houses are staying on the market longer. So you're going to be able to have a chance at it, you know? And the other thing too, is I think that you really just need to go out there and do it. Like that, so many people try to come up with these complicated plans. I'm not a complicated guy. I'm not someone that focuses on the script what's more important blocking down your script or having a conversation with someone you know when you and i first started on this uh, on this podcast you know before we were you know, in the studio and you know kind of talking it was like what are we going to talk about and i was like 
we're gonna we're gonna just go through go off the cuff. We're going to talk. We're going to see what comments come in. You know, stuff like that. You just have to do. It's not about being scripted. It's not about you know being buttoned up. Because I'm going to tell you this: as far as a real estate instructor, real say real estate presenter, a public speaker, I don't find myself to be buttoned up. I don't find myself to be the guy that's out there that has all the right words. I say, um, I say, uh, I sit there sometimes and I don't know where my mind is going to go, but the bottom line is, is I do it. And over time and 15 years of speaking, 15 years of teaching, I've gotten better at it in some way. But what happened was it was because I started doing it. If you go on my YouTube channel and you check out any of my stuff, I'm real estate exam prep on YouTube. If you check out any of my videos, I implore you to go watch my first videos. Sort by date, watch my first <laughs> video. I have absolutely trash on the back of this. My camera's junk, my audio is junk, and I'm sitting there, I think I'm blowing my nose on the camera, I'm not looking at the camera, I think I have a Hawaiian shirt, sweatpants on, and I, <laughs> the quality was garbage. So bottom line is this, you are going to be bad at something, and then as you keep doing it, you're going to get better. So you need to have a proper mindset and you need to start doing it. And you have to understand that the first time, the second time, the third time, the 10th time you do it, you're not going to be good. <laughs> I like but, that a lot. I like it a lot. But you need to get past it. I love it. I love it. And and so I'm, I'm going to maybe repeat a little bit of, of what I'm saying. So number one, everyone's a little bit different. You can't force a mindset on them. So the number one thing is get in the right mindset, knowing that you're going to have to work. And then, yeah. uh, and, and that work you uh, and I really like this because yeah, if you miss January 1st and get on the phones today, uh, because there are expires out there, there's work to be done. And the only way you're going to get better at it isn't by endlessly coming up with a new business plan or writing, no. your, writing out your plan over and over and over again, but actually doing the work and that, and then through that practice, you're going to get better. And, uh, and yeah, you might not be the number one agent in January, but if you put in the work by the end of the year, you'll have done this enough times that you're going to be a lot more comfortable and being able to do what you set out to do in the, in the first place. It's it, listen, I wish. So remember when we started, I told you, I said, I started my career in 2003. Okay. I'm going to tell you a couple things about 2003. Number one. I had a whole head of hair. Real estate has done this, okay? So I'm just letting you all know. You're going to have to start wearing hats. <laughs> but I will say this. 2003, listen, it was not cool to be a real estate agent. It was not cool to be in a real estate office, okay? My conference room had wallpaper with rows and columns of tiny little flowers. And you can picture it if you just close your eyes. Oh, you can picture that cool. wallpaper. I'm picturing a cool it's, place. It's, it's a, <laughs> oh, super cool. I, everyone was about 103 years old. And I was 19 <laughs> trying to figure this out. And I didn't have access to a YouTube channel to all this. So like what I had to do to, to hear this kind of information, I had to go leave my house, go to a conference, pay hundreds and thousands of dollars to get to the conference. So everyone who's listening here, you have access within literally several clicks. You could click off and listen to some of the greatest minds in real estate, <laughs> okay? Other than my amazing mind. You can listen to a ton of different people that I didn't have access to in 2003. That what happens is this. It's a situation where what you need to do is you just need to do it. You need to sit there. It's not necessarily about having the best script. It's not about having, you know, everything buttoned up. Just do it. You have to make those contacts, make those relationships so that you can build on things because relationships are the things that are going to get you to the next level. This is a relationship business. And all you have to do is consistently create relationships. And that's why, I, you know what? I mean, shameless plug for Red X, but <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I love the product is because it's a tool that gets you to the point where it basically crosses that barrier from, okay, I have the right mindset, Stu. Okay, I've decided to take action. Now what? It's like, well, here's the tool. Sit down. Done. You do it. That's right. No, I and, and I've heard a lot of people, especially when it comes to the dialer, right? Like you can be hesitating, worried about that first phone call, but as soon as you click the button, 
it starts dialing people and you and it's, it's go time. And so whether you're ready or not, someone's going to answer that phone and you got to and you might you might trip through that script if you're not ready. Uh, but you're going and you're doing and 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 that and that then you're you're off for the day. Uh, what what you know if you're prospecting that morning or whatever it is that you're doing, you're get you're into it. And uh, instead of just thinking about it, you're doing it. And so absolutely, Radix is a is a place to start there. Um, good. I so one thing that I'm interested in because you've helped so many people is and 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 like I said, everyone's a new agent today because because we're just starting the year off in in this new market. Uh, where do you see people fail? between you successfully getting them to pass the test because you give them all the right advice and they help them study and they pass the test and they are, they're licensed. And, and, and we know that um, real estate just has a real high turnover because people fail. Where do you see that failure happening with all these people that you, that you have helped get to at least that point? So I want to kind of piggyback off of what I was saying earlier and also kind of expand on it. So piggybacking off of what I said earlier, I think that W-2 mentality, I think that what happens is a lot of people want to get out of working for someone. They want to get off out of working in a retail setting. I mean, look, if, you, if you've worked retail, comment. Let, let me know. Let us know. <laughs> you know, I, I know I worked retail when I was younger. Yeah. Um, and I know I didn't want to do that. And one of the p- appeals of working in real estate was that I, it wasn't retail, right? So what happens is shifting from there to being a business owner, a lot of people, and I'm making a generalization, but I think it's an accurate one. I think it's one that it, it's it needs to be said. A lot of people don't have that business acumen. It's just because people ask me all the time. They say, hey, what is the difference between the successful ones and the not successful ones? I said, the embracing of the business acumen. And that's a big problem because a lot of people are constantly looking for or going into training and constantly training and constantly doing. I'm going to tell a story, actually, if you don't mind. Okay, right, It's like a, right, two, like a three or four minute story. It's one of my favorites. Um, I was training in an office and it was a Friday. And this, it really hit home with me. It, it was a Friday and there was a new agent that came into the office and they were going to start training on Monday. It was like a three week crash course that we put all the agents through. And he said to the broker, he said, so how much do I get paid to train? And he's coming off that W-2 mentality. And they're like, the broker laughed and said, well, you're not going to get paid anything. So then he he did this. He goes, he looks up, he goes, all right, so I won't be in on Monday. (laughs) And so he (laughs) said, wait, wait a second. Why won't you? be in the training on Monday. I mean, you have to know how to talk to people. Like I, We were very much so, hey, learn the script, learn how to do this, and then we'll teach you how to fish. And his response was, and it changed my whole mindset. His response was, well, if it's not illegal for me to go sell a home, I'm, I'm going to go sell a home. And so I said, that's awesome. I said, but, you know, I said, what is driving you? I said, I have to ask. I, I chimed in. I said, I have to ask what is driving you. And he said to me, he said, Stu, I have one suit and I'm living out of my car. Hmm. He said, if I don't sell a home on Monday or you don't pay me, he said, I don't know if I'm going to have lunch on Tuesday. He said, so if it's not illegal for me to go find <laughs> someone to sell a home to, he said, listen, it ain't going to be pretty. It might not be how you do it with your books. He said, but I'm going to meet people. He said, I'm going to meet people until they either buy me lunch or they buy a home for me. His first two months, he sold $30,000 worth of real estate. <laughs> he outsold my entire sales class. And I will tell you, that is one of the stories that led me to why I, I tell people that mindset is so important. Because what is the difference between that person and the agent that sat in with my classes? Their mindset. Their mindset was completely different. Their mindset was, I'm going to make these relationships. I'm going to pound the phones. I'm going to do what, what happens. And I, I'm going to get myself to where I need to be. You know, and as I said, I think that that's one of the biggest reasons why people do fail coming into the business. And I also think too, is that we as an industry, and I'm going to put a little onus on us, is that we don't set proper expectations. You know, we don't set proper expectations. I think that there's a lot of, and here's the thing, I try to do that with my appearances on podcasts like this, on my YouTube channel, when I'm talking to people who are taking the test, you know, the expectation of what you're going to do on a daily basis, 
versus the expectation of what you think it is. So here's the thing. As a brand new agent, you think you're going to go out showing homes. You're going to do open houses. As a new agent, you're probably going to be picking up the phone a lot more. And if you're petrified of that phone, that is your job. That is your responsibility to you, to your family, to make sure that you're putting bread on the table and building that business. And that's the biggest problem is that what I just said right there, that's the biggest downfall is that you get an apprehension you get a situation where these people do not take that leap. They do not take that leap and just do it. They get to the frog in their throat, that like lump in their chest when the phone starts dialing. They can't overcome that. And that's hard. And here's the thing. I'm one of the best. And I say that I say that with a smile on my face. I'm one <laughs> of the best. <laughs> I'm one of the best on the phones. But what I will tell you too is, out, no matter how many calls I've made, no matter how much anything, I still get nervous. Yeah. I still get nervous. So like the nerves don't go away. It's how you handle them. Yeah. No, I love all of that. And and I think what you talk about, the expectations and uh, Larry, he chimed in on something similar. Larry's one of our top listeners. We always hear from him about, uh, you know, there are uh, coaches out there and different atmospheres and environments that do fail us. And I do think it's, it, it, it comes from those improper expectations. You have someone who's been in the business a long time. And I see this all the time, all the time in the, in the comment sections and people talking about real estate and a brand new agent says, Hey, how do I, how do I sell more houses? And they say, Oh, just talk to your sphere. Just take someone to coffee. You're all right. Don't, don't, don't waste your time on the phones. Don't do that. And I say, well, no, you've been in business five, 10, 15 years. You can rely on a sphere that of, of repeat and referral business, but don't tell a new agent that. They're only going to be set up for disappointment. They don't have past clients. They don't have no. a sphere. They've so we we've we have to set the proper expectation that yeah, oh you God, have to yes. pick up the phone, you have to have conversations. And and we I talked to a lot of people too, because Red X is amazing, but it doesn't make the phone calls for you and it doesn't set the appointments for you. It, there, there's a step in it that you have to take of making the phone calls, making the connections, building your list, building your database, following up. And then uh, with that right mindset and the hard work, then it comes in, right? You know, that's why I have a mirror in my office because that's the <laughs> only person that, listen, the only person that can make the change is the person in the mirror. You know, hey, the only person that could sit there and say, okay, I need to do better is that. And I'll tell you this, I was working with a new agent uh, probably like uh, two or three months ago, that what happened was they came to me when they had failed. They had gotten to the point where they had failed in their business. And we were looking at basically the murder scene of, uh, of a failed real estate career. And my question to them was, I said, okay, how long did you spend in real estate? Like they were full time. Okay. And I use the air quotations for those of you who are <laughs> listening on audio only. I'm doing air quotation bunnies <laughs> with my, with my fingers. So air quotations, you know, in the real estate business full time for three months. So what I did was I just multiplied eight contacts a day for, for three months. And I said, listen, if you had the mindset that you were going to talk to eight people a day, that you were going to talk to eight people a day, and you were going to talk to them and make sure that they knew that you were in real estate. And guess what? I said to them, I said, that's almost a thousand contacts. I said, without any sales skill, without <laughs> any sales skill, without knowing a script, without anything, I said, do you think... If you personally spoke to a thousand people that you could sell two to three homes. And they said, yeah. I said, okay, great. Fantastic. I said, I didn't even coach you on what to say, how to do it. Like tune up a couple things here and there. You start tuning it up. You start, here's the thing. You talk to a thousand people, the first 500 are going to stick. <laughs> the next 500 is going to be better. And then the 500 after that, it's going to be even better. And then you're going to learn things about yourself. You're going to know how you move and groove through a conversation. Like I know how I roll through a conversation. You know, I know how I art articulate it. I know all those things about myself. I know when I hear a script or like a plan, you know, for making a call, I know if it's going to work for Stu or not. You don't know that. So you have to test a lot of things. You know, I'm teaching my wife. I I'm the cook in the family. I'm teaching my wife now how to cook. <laughs> so what happens is, I'm kind of figuring out what her strengths are, what her weaknesses are, and where she's kind of gravitating towards. She's she's more of a baker, 
than I am. I'm more of the touch yeah. and feel kind of person. But again, it just it, the reason I even say that is just it, it goes to again learn your strengths, do something because as you're doing, you'll learn where your strengths and weaknesses are, and you'll get better. I love it. I love it. Now we, we are coming up on the I, I, the end of our time here. And so we're just going to have you back because you've got, you've got good stuff. I love your YouTube channel. I want people to know to find you actually Instagram is the best place to find you right, uh, right now. And yeah. uh, your Instagram handle, tell everybody so they know, and we'll flash it up on the screen for them too. Real estate exam pro all one word. Um, so if you follow me over on Instagram, number one, I'd love it. And it would mean the world to me, but that's where I'm going to be putting out a lot of my coaching, a lot of my trainings, all that kind of stuff. You'll be able to see new videos that I'm posting. So whenever I feel the need to, reach out to everyone and share little tidbits of knowledge. Uh, uh, you'll be able to know right there on my uh, Instagram. So on yeah. Instagram, real estate exam pro uh, also all over YouTube uh, to find his, uh, his uh, coaching uh, and uh, tips and videos and everything that he's done. And uh, I want to give you the last word before we wrap up though. I, you know, we, we have just a, a minute longer. And so if there's, Anything else that we didn't get to that you'd love to to share with the audience before we go? <laughs> Everyone's already saying thanks and, uh, yeah, and uh, blast and informative. Uh, but uh, what you get the last word and then we'll wrap up. Sure. Yeah. No. So first and foremost, uh, you know. So you said Larry's always uh, on here. So Heck I just yeah. want to say, <laughs> Larry, love, love the enthusiasm and I love the contribution too because I think that you know that shows. Listen, coming in and basically you know, commenting, interacting with us. What I'll tell you is this. I mean, that, that means the world to me because I, I'm someone that I, if it wasn't for technology, I wouldn't have this kind of platform. So really, honestly, I always close things off with a genuine heartfelt thank you to everyone who's listening, you know, and just basically the message of like, hey, keep listening because I'm going to keep giving you great little tidbits of information. And that's what I always end with because and I think what you should do in hearing me say that and hearing me say, this is how I end everything. Something that I tell all of my agents every single day is figure out how you can help people. Building relationships is about figuring out how you can help people. So how I end every single one of my interactions with people is how can I help you? What can I do for you? You know, because then it never feels like a pitch. It never feels like that. If you always attack things, with that mentality, you know, if you call up, you do something and it's always about, I want to try to get the listing, I want to try to get the appointment, I want to try to get something, you're doing it just the way everyone else is. But if you come at it and you say, how can I help you? And you are genuine in that because not the, not the, you know, the shady way. If you're doing it in a way that you really want to sit there and you want to help this person who may be a for sale by owner and you say, you know what? Your goal is to sell your home on your own. I want to help you sell your home on your own. I'm going to get you there. If you get to a point where statistics show that you need help with someone, I want to first be one of the people that you call. And second, I want to earn so much trust in our relationship that you refer me out to your friends and family because that's going to be a multiple transaction instead of a one-off. So it's really about helping people. And that's why I want to say thank you, everyone, for listening. And um, look, I can't wait to be on again. And we'll pick yeah. another exciting, wonderful topic. <laughs> we will. Stu, thank you so much for being here. And I know I know you're genuine. So uh, go find him on Instagram and ask him for help right now. And, and he'll help yes. you out. Uh, thank you, yes. everybody, for joining us today, for listening in. Uh, to find out what we're doing next and where our next guests are and to never miss another episode of the Red X Podcast, just go to redx.com slash podcast or find us on YouTube and subscribe. We'd love to uh, hear from you and see you again. And uh, Stu, thank you again so much for your time. Everybody have a great uh, rest of your week. Happy New Year. This is our first show of the year. I saw Happy a couple New, Year. New Year's in the in Wait, the this comments. is the first show? This is the first show of the year, Stu. So I'm the first of 2023. Yeah, that's right. We're no, kicking, we're, we're listen, off, listen, right. listen. It's all going downhill after this. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, guys, and have a great rest of your week. Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks for joining in.